Libras, welcome. It's your end of November heart spread read today. Um, this is up for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And um, it looks at the one that's on your mind, the one that's in your heart. I pull eight cards. Uh, this spread ends up in the shape of a heart. And the first three cards, I think of as astrologer too, uh, kind of like sinistry. I look at the number one, number two is your first and seventh house, and your person, wh whoever this is, that really is uh, uh, your emotional attachment, is what it reads. Not necessarily the one you're with, you know how that goes, but it's the one your heart's with. Sometimes you're past, you know, love doesn't know. So that's the, the anima, the animas too, that we project that of ourselves. Uh, the high, I like to think of it as the higher part of ourselves we're looking for. Time frame, end of November. So ongoing, and for a couple weeks, really. It's only the middle of November. So this is you. Five of Pentacles, energy here. Libras, um, this is where you're at in terms of love and relationship, how this reads, if uh, if you resonate with this, because that is going to be tough. Um, it, it could range, pinnacles are things, this could be from being but for, poor, I could kind of put myself in this category. By the way, do watch the Soul Family Read, which remind me, this card came up in that as well. Um, no surprise, I mean... Um, it was in it, uh, but this really highlights the five of pentacles for us, so whatever's going on here with us. Um, okay, we're losing power. That's okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a disco, you know. Um, but here I try to read your energy, Libra, a little bit separate. And excuse, you know, I'm in the urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico. Usually it's pretty... Um, you know, tranquil here, <laughs> but uh, today uh, they're they're really humid. Now my old gray tea, okay. But look, you know, this too can be lack mentality, and coming from past relationships. I kind of try to separate this away from the reading of your other person's energy just yet to kind of see where you're at. So. You know, as you would engage anyone in this person here, we're going to look at. Um, just going to shuffle while I'm talking. Um, you know, you're going to bring this energy. This is how this reading works. You're going to bring this is this is showing what you're going to bring. Now, it doesn't have to be a disaster, but you know, five of pentacles is not great energy. No one really likes that. So, it's lack, it's poverty, it's financial. It can be, you know. Um, Again, in this position of where you're at, I, kind of this, where you, are you at in terms of love and relationship, Five of Pentacles, energy, Libra. So if you're relating, um, you know, and that's like no matter what I do, I'm not good enough, and um, you know, loving too much, giving too much, Sun in conjunct Moon in your natal chart <laughs> is something like that. Sun opposite moon. So now we look at your person here. Two of swords energy. Well, kind of no surprise. The person you're dealing with is a two of swords energy. Because why I say no surprise, I mean the five of pentacles is not a great energy to manifest something really positive because it's like we ourselves are feeling really inadequate, you know, and not enough. I mean, we we may want someone to kind of reassure us that we are you know it's kind of one of the great uh, by, uh, byproducts of uh, relationships and loves you get that you know it doesn't last like long well, it's like a drug right so to a swords though um you know this is like you're talking to someone in a practical manner let's put this out there you're talking to somebody initially who's down and i mean literally you could meet like on a group for I'm bum. I'm a bummed out. Uh, I'm a Cancer Moon. Uh, there's a Cancer Moon crying post. Cancer Moon, a couple different things. Uh, one I'm in because it, sometimes it's funny. You, you realize how strong it is. But maybe you meet somehow like this, uh, and you are literally two people in this reading. Maybe this is your Libra reading. 
you're you're commiserating with each other uh, about your theirs is uh, more um, this um, mental. It's like they they they'll have to say to you, I just don't know. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know. But just don't know because swords, knowledge, thoughts, and being cross. It's usually about you know something to do with the heart not opening and everything like that with them and being swords and the two of swords and them not wanting to deal with it probably some broken-hearted stuff from the past that they're just sort of like it's got their cart closed what is that it's like i ain't gonna let that shit happen again they're gonna tell somebody Psh, one time you know fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me so they're like not gonna be a twice and here you are already feeling not good enough so Let's see where this goes, guys. I do count the bottom of the deck in this reading now. And I don't read the reverses for a number of reasons. But the sun here is the overall energy. It gives me some hope, you know. Maybe in some way you met. And by the way, I'm going to digress. First meeting charts are so important as an astrologer. And a, and a love and romance, you know, is what I do. Uh, get that time right, man. <laughs> uh, the first hug, the first, I don't know, something physical. So the overall energy of the sun here is over your, uh, there's just some kind of blessing. Let's just put it like this, man. Here's another way to look at this. It, it, there's nothing happens by accident, man. Libras, it's like, you know, no matter how this seems at the beginning here, which it's like, looks kind of like uh, Delma and Louise here getting ready to drive off the cliff together hand in hand which is a cool scene I'll give you that but uh, but the sun's there so it's kind of like telling me mm, maybe there's something here going on you know bigger why are you getting an, an attraction at all nothing's random right five of wands though it's such a beautiful deck now if you just look at that and think about it, it intuitively forget tarot for a moment and kind of like think about like a like a psychologist gives you a, a picture and says, what do you feel about that? And how does that just feel? And think of it in relation to how you're feeling about them. Um, to me, the five of wands, when I see it in relationship, it usually practically involves bickering, bickering and arguing. I gotta be able to say bickering. Mm-hmm. Now, it is bickering and arguing that belies something deeper going on than the surface. And if and in a person's intuitive, they might at least feel that, you know, know that there's something going on um, below uh, the surface here. Um, and this way you're feeling towards them, and I like to see this as energy really in relation to them, okay? But you still could be bringing this with you. You get five of pentacles, you know, five of wands, and that's the relationship I want to see there. Um, that really, it's kind of this lack mentality, kind of expecting things to go wrong. Maybe you know, I tell you, for me, it's like yeah, it's, I identified it as uh, in, in my um, cosmology and the way I thought of God and everything it's kind of had bled into that I realized at one point it's like oh my gosh my God is kind of you know basically I don't want to get into the whole Christian thing but oh the Christian God's kind of a, you know it's depicted a lot it's kind of a, not very high vibing sometimes okay guys more like with the Buddha okay Wow, so I was wondering now, how are they going to relate to you? Now, they're coming in with the lover's energy. Now, they got two of swords coming in, and now they got the lover. So part of what's going on with them, part of what's got their, I want to say, panties in a wad, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a metaphor. What's got them uh, disturbed? What's got them saying, like, I just don't know, I just don't know? It's like they just don't want to admit it. But the reason they're feeling so screwed up is all simply about this person that they're attached to and can't let go of. Even in their mind, like probably this person here, Libra, hasn't even said yet, hey, oh, it's over. You know, maybe they haven't said it to the person. So I don't know what the deal is. Maybe you're still with them. 
but the way they're feeling to you for you is the lovers it implies a choice okay it's like I'm gonna tell you right out of the shoot right now what it shows me you are an option Libra however this goes you're an option so best case scenario I guess and remember here before we go forward because I don't know how it's gonna go uh, uh, rejection is God's protection is spirits protection sources protection rejection you know there are no wrong turns only right turns taken wrongly just saying uh, so best case scenario you become the option that they select right now you're an option on the table you may actually know this with this five of wands and I mean, now, I gotta be honest with you, Libras. Uh, watch this old family read. I'll put a link here uh, to it. Um, and you could go back and look at this old family read. I have it, you know, uh, in my playlist. And it's not really a daily read. You know, it's a, it's just a, uh, a journey. Um, but see if it doesn't really relate to you here. Um, but you're just being really defensive, too, in this relationship. And... Um, it, I get the feeling like you, you just have to kind of accept at least some spiritual, you have to own the spiritual energy that you did draw this person in by, you didn't really have to give them attention. I'm not busting you out or anything, I'm just saying, that's maybe the sun part of it. There's, there's always a karmic connection, there's always something going on. And another thing with this five of, one, five of pentacles energy. You, you know, like, really seriously, I hate to say it, but it's just flat out, like, until we deal with this, we're going to bring in two of swords and God knows what, and we're going to be an option at best and this kind of thing. Same. That doesn't mean they couldn't be the one. Maybe they're coming to grow out of that cycle. Maybe you're ready to grow out of that cycle. Maybe, ta-da, throw myself into it while you're watching this reading share it with your person right um and so a lot of my theme back to this old family re which i do daily uh this is this time where we're asserting ourselves you know our decisions our actions now or how we're uh designing the next 20 30 years of our lives i think for many people such a critical time now this is your advice from spirit in relationship to this person <sighs> You know what I get here? Uh, just as kind of what I was just saying. You're, I'm realizing as I go along, you're realizing that there is a karmic connection here. And I'm trying to think now, if you're the Hierophant, and we're talking about Libra, this could bring in Taurus energy too. And Venus is prominent. There's Venus in it. So Libra, like in terms of a past life, I, I don't normally do this, but I leave this to the psychics, but I, I mean, I get for sure, for sure, you guys had the past life marriage, you know, and this could go on. That's like a, we're flowing through the time together and you could have been the wife and another time they were the wife and but there's a strong marriage energy. So it's like it would have like pulled you in. And so I get the feeling now back to them for a moment with this two of swords and lovers, which I don't really like this, okay? I'm a Venus and Scorpio. It's like, you know, if I'm an option, I'm an option. I was gonna say an option, make up a word. <laughs> then forget about it, you know? It's like, I don't do the I'm an option thing. I've learned that the hard way. It's not satisfying, <laughs> okay? So their advice, this is a righteous defense, righteous action, righteous defense of the castle here. And this is the advice from spirit for them in interacting with you. And that surely speaks to your five of wands as you're reacting to them initially. And I believe your five of wands is speaking to them being involved in this other relationship. interesting here with the hair font clarify spirit i really don't understand i don't know that's kind of clear as fuck now jesus man i'm clarifying this hair font with the judgment what i tell you this is purely karmic 
Judgment is choice. This is advice for you uh, now, Libras. This is your advice uh, towards this person. And, you know, be advised that they were... I'm getting that you were the wife, like in a previous relationship. Venus energy on you. And um, this is the kind of thing that can align you uh, with your soul's path. I mean, that's how relate. That's how our soul grows through relationship. That's one of my main themes of if it's a guy tarot. If there is a theme of Sagittarius, keep the themes light. You know, they tie you down. But yeah, it's uh, and coming from spirit, you know, it's really telling you like really think about this. What's going on here? Because you know, now this could be either way. This is uh, as you're relating to them. This could be saying to you, uh, you maybe need to understand what's going on with this relationship and then not uh, take it. Let's see. Remember, we have the sun here. Even if you, even if it, you know, even if relationships fail, doesn't mean they weren't beautiful. How about that one? Even if relationships fail, doesn't mean they weren't beautiful. Like flowers, they were beautiful for a moment. The relationships. All right, guys, this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. Six of Pentacles, I absolutely adore this here. This is important. This is the crux of the heart spread. As you can see it form the very bottom of the bowl. It's the heart here. Um, you know, equality, Libra. Yeah. This is hard one. And this is entirely up to you. And this person, they, if, if for them, it's going to be a battle. I, I was thinking of clarifying, but I think I got this. For them, they need to take action. This Two of Swords it is, I told you, it's like a cover. It's like they just don't want to deal emotionally with something. So they keep telling themselves, I don't know what to do. Well, they know exactly what to do. You can tell them in a minute what to do. Probably everyone's already told them what to do. And whatever it is to do, which is actually to do something, take action ones, that's actually defending themselves in some way and actually righteous in some way. But it's definitely about boundaries, seven of wands, and cutting ties. It's that time of year, guys. And this two of swords is just... a. Uh, them kind of covering and not being able to deal and not being able to emote anything and bring it together, you know. And here you are in the mix, tied up in your minds as an option, Libra. Well, let's see how that works out. This relationship ends in deep transformation. I can't say it's going to end in marriage, but it's going to be a transformative relationship. As an astrologer, I love, uh, I'd love to do sinistry. Let me know. But you're gonna are you there's many good sites now you could use but look for pluto on venus pluto on mars pluto on any of the angles on the moon uh on the nodes um man and look for this to be the death is not bad you know you look oh it's death this is scorpionic though it's scorpio season in your sinistry maybe you know, I would take a wild guess. If you please could look, if you know, and can look at your composite relationship chart and tell me what is your ascendant and what is what is sign and house is your son in, okay? I would, I would love to hear that, guys. Um, because I think you might find a, a composite emphasizing the Scorpio energy. Composite what? Pluto in the first house. Composite Scorpio energy. AC, you know, composite sun in the eighth house, composite sun uh, in some aspect to Pluto, like a close trine. So, guys, give me a like, a thumbs up, do tell a friend to tell a friend, please. If you can think of anywhere to share my readings, I would appreciate it if you'd support me, if you resonate, um, and doing so on whatever platform you can think of. And if you haven't, please do subscribe and hit the bell. I have a regimented schedule and Thursdays are always uh, Libra uh, Scorpio days. Thank you guys.